After 44 years of marriage, Henry and Elizabeth have been through a lot. But on this afternoon at MD Anderson Cancer Center Orlando, they embarked on a journey they never, ever expected. Diagnosed with a malignant brain tumor, glioblastoma, Elizabeth is taking part in a clinical trial of a brand new device that will send electrical currents directly to her tumor site with the hopes to beat this aggressive type of brain cancer. We are seeking any and every way uh, to, uh, to extend the meaningful life of patients with this dread disease. With the help of MD Anderson Orlando neuro-oncologists Dr. Nicholas Avdaropoulos and Dr. George Babustic, Elizabeth is the second person in the world enrolled in this latest phase of the clinical trial of the Novo TTF-100, a device made up of electrodes installed right onto her scalp to treat her tumor directly. She will be receiving it in addition to the chemotherapy. She's had the surgery, she's had chemo and radiation, and now is going to continue on the chemotherapy, which is our, our standard protocol for glioblastoma. It's the standard protocol for glioblastoma. And uh, combine it with the uh, tumor treatment field device. So how does this new technology work? It can actually change around the polarity of dividing cells and cause the dividing cells to break apart. And we hope that that's going to be an amplification of what the, uh, the chemotherapy that we're giving and hopefully there will be synergy there in terms of treating the tumor. The idea is to stop my problems with cancer and from all that we have read that we think we're going to do that. That's one of the reasons we're excited about jumping into this kind of a possibility. Glioblastoma is a deadly form of brain cancer, one that challenges oncologists. The median survival rates are on the order of 14 months or 16 months, and, and it's, it's completely unacceptable. And so we have it as our mission uh, uh, to extend this, uh, not only the quality of life, but also the quantity of life of our patients. So far, clinical trials of the Novo TTF-100 device give reason to be optimistic. The numbers that come with this machine, as far as survivability and et cetera, et cetera, are absolutely astounding. The preliminary human data uh, is very exciting. Um, it has tripled uh, median survival. Not only are patients on this device living longer, but it lets patients focus on beating their cancer without dealing with additional side effects. There will be no side effects. There will be no, uh, you know, uh, fatigue that will uh, limit everybody's, you know, everybody will be kind of like maintaining their energy level and be, be able to be involved in almost any activity that they want. Right away, Elizabeth could feel the electrodes yes. working. Yes, I can feel the, the warmth that's in, under here. Elizabeth will be on the trial for two years, during which time she will continue to see her MD Anderson Orlando neuro-oncologist for chemotherapy and to monitor her progress on the device. As one of the few cancer treatment facilities in the world enrolled in this clinical trial, MD Anderson Orlando hopes to enroll one patient a month on this device to provide patients with glioblastoma another option to beat their cancer. Hopefully you'll be around for a while, kid. You got it. A long while. This device has got to be something better. Uh, we went through radiation, which was uh, affects your bo your body in many different ways. We've been taking I've been taking the chemo, and we still know that I would like for my life to live a lot longer. And uh, if this is going to do it, well, then let's get that sucker. We'll win it. <laughs>